What's going on everybody? Jordan here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a cool track for my boy Revis. He's doing a song with this girl named Sasha. She did a song a long time ago with Sean Paul called I'm Still in Love with You. It's a privilege to be able to mix and master this track for them. Let's just dive on in, get started. I'll go over some of the ways that I like to mix and master and edit vocals. So as you can see here, I've got the beat on top. I've got the vocals underneath. A lot of people have certain ways about how they like to do it. They like to make it a little bit more organized than I have it. I mean, as it is, it is organized. But I mean, you know, a lot of people like to label things differently and so forth. And all that's cool, man. The way you do it is the way you do it. Revis verse is going to be on top here. His vocals are a little bit higher. So I don't know if I've talked about bus tracks before in my previous videos, but uh, here's the mixer. Okay, I've got Revis's vocals here, and I've got his bus track, and then all of the different tracks linked to his bus track. I've got the reverb here, my delay here, then I've got Sasha's vocals. I haven't worked on, so we're going to do that together here, and we'll go over the vocal chains, and then I can explain vocal chains. But for now, as far as bus tracks are concerned, typically I only, only like to use one bus track, but it just depends on the waveform that I get. In this instance, Revis's vocals are, are loud enough to where just one bus track will suffice. If something is, is super loud, I'll just bring down the beat so that I just, you know, I'm not trying to force something into, uh, into existence there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the song so that we have an idea of what we're going to be working with today. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto all men. Revis! Oh, we're gonna tell the people them set. Sasha go to the rock and the rock and cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. Okay, so <laughs> I'm super stoked listening to that. It sounds so cool. Sasha's vocals are great. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make her chorus vocals pan one way and pan the other and we're just gonna make this thing sound hot man we're just gonna do it we're gonna do it up sasha's ad libs are on top and then as you can see here sasha's chorus segments are here here i think there's one here we'll have to make sure that we have everything in the right spots for now this is just how the vocals came to me. I think I'm gonna have to adjust this mid vocal here. I believe it's gonna scoot over. I'm gonna go into my mixer here. As you can see, like I say, I have Revis's bus here and then his tracks that are linked. I have them listed out. This is probably as organized as I get. I'm gonna definitely organize by labeling what is what. When you have a bunch of stuff in the mixer, it's just a good idea, man. You're gonna you're gonna get lost if you don't know where it is or or you may not, but it's just nicer and, and a lot more productive to have these labeled. Revis' main vocals go here, his backups go there, ad-libs here, and then like I say, the reverbs, I call them verb. So if I say that just you know by reflex, that's what I mean. And then I got a delay. I've only got a one-fourth delay, so I might do a different one. <clears throat> Typically, I like to do a bunch of different things, but we'll see just how it goes. Let's go ahead and label this. I'm going to label this one. I'm going to label this one the main main vocal or main box, I like to call it. I'm going to actually put a separator here because I do want to distinguish the fact that this would be her main vocal. So in other words, when we get into her verse, I'm going to change the way that sounds. Obviously, I'm not going to have that chorus sound on her verse vocals. So I'm going to space this here and then I'm going to rename this and I'm going to go, I'm going to go chorus box and right, let's go left i'll just put an l for left i'm even going to color this and then here i'm going to do the same thing chorus box r for right with a color okay now what i'll do here is i'm going to pan it to the left 64 percent and then pan it to the right on this side 65 percent I'm, I'm sorry, 64%. My, my brain was on a whole different level. Insert 15, I'm going to change this. This is going to be ad-libs. 
as you saw in the beginning here, her ad libs are right there. So now, now we kind of have a rough idea of what's going to happen. So when, when you have a, a vocal like this, like I said earlier, all of her vocals came together like this. So I have to do some editing on my part. For instance, I had to go into her ad lib vocal here since she does have an intro and I had to change this intro from the ad libs to a main vocal. So simply by clicking this uh, top left corner and then clicking make unique as sample. Okay, so after I do that, now it's on its own. I can link it to a certain track, which I did, and it's at the main vocal track. I can go to the ad libs now, and it'll affect all of them. And I can bump this over to track 15, and now all of these corresponding little clips are going to be on track 15. I'm going to go here and double click on the pink vocal and I'm going to go, it's actually on the right spot. It's on 13 and then the gold vocal here, I'm going to go to 14. Now then we've got our chorus vocal separated out. So when we listen to it in the beginning here, this intro is going to have a nice single sing or singular sound, I should say. And then the chorus is going to pan out. Let's listen to it. Righteousness exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! Oh, we're going to tell the people them set. Run to the rock and the rock and cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. That sounds way cool. Okay, perfect. All of the tracks that are corresponding with the tracks that I changed are gonna have that track. Now, I have to go to this lead here, this gold part that's connected to the chorus that we've created, and I'm gonna do what I did earlier, and I'm gonna hit the top left corner, and I'm gonna say, make unique as sample. Now it's its own thing. Now I can take this one, and I can bring this back to 12, and it's gonna have track 12 instead of the chorus track. So now I don't have to worry about how that's gonna sound. It's gonna sound just right. Okay, so I've got the auto tune up. Let's listen to it again. It, it's it's humanized and then I, I got the, um, I got the retune speed down low. So you, it's gonna be really faint. It's gonna be really slight. And from listening to her, she sounds like she's on point. So I don't, we don't really have to worry about pitch correction. It's just It's just there to make it sound nicer. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! Oh, we're going to tell the people them set. Run to the rock and the rock and cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. Run to the rock and the rock and cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. So like I say, it's it's there, but if, you're probably not going to really hear it. The so auto-tune will go first. It's talking about vocal chains. Everything that you put in here is going to go in order. One after the other after the other. So it's best to make sure that you have the good idea, that you have a good idea of what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to end up putting things in the wrong places and then when it all renders itself out, it's going to sound kind of weird. You're going to be mixing it a certain way and be like, why does it sound like that? So make sure that everything goes in order. EQ I like to do first because you're going to make you're going to make this waveform, this vocal sound a certain way with this EQ. You are changing the dynamic of this EQ. So I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to make some tweaks and then I will be back. I've got the first EQ done. I'm gonna go into a second EQ, and this one's important because this is gonna tell you, this is gonna tell you your highs and your lows, okay? So like when I, I turn on the heat map for this Fruity Paramedic EQ2 on Fruity Loops, you'll watch and see 
the peaks in the vocal, and then we're going to want to bring some of those down so that it, it sounds more crisp. It sounds more together. There's nothing too high. You're not going to get any harsh sounds. All these frequencies are going to get put in check, if so to speak. Okay, that looks great. I'm gonna move on into compression. So with compression, you can do, you know, multiple compressions. You can do a compression, throw a multi-band compression in there. And to kind of sum up what compression is gonna do, it's gonna take your highs, the high sounds of your vocal and the lows and kind of mash them together so that it sounds like one flat vocal rather than something that's all over the place. I use a plugin called Isotope Ozone. I think it's fantastic. It's, it's the greatest thing that I've ever used in my life. When I first got it, I was I was shocked. I was stunned at just the the power that I had in the palm of my hands with how I can adjust my vocal. So as soon as this thing loads up, we're gonna be good to go. Okay, I've got ozone up. I don't need an equalizer. I already used one and I don't need my maximizer today. Okay, now I can add all my compressions. I can add my ratio. And we'll be Gucci, man. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to add after that. Uh, I, I was going to use another compressor, but I, I honestly don't think I need to. Her vocals are, are great. I'm going to throw in a sound goodizer is, is what it's called. And that is going to be the saturation. I'm going to put it on the C note. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. I'm going to turn down the bus track number two. I don't have Revis on that bus track, so I can manipulate that with her vocals as I see fit. It, her vocals are sounding loud. They're sounding good. It, everything is looking great right now. In fact, I can also turn down that sound goodizer. So let's listen to hers and Revis's and see where we are, see how close we are with how it all sounds. He holds the key to eternal life. I am alone, you'll be here. I am alone, you'll be here. Yeah, live and direct, righteousness is on sex. Glory and praise to the one who. He holds the key to eternal life. I am alone, you'll be here. I am alone, you'll be here. Yeah, live and direct, righteousness is on sex. Glory and praise. I'm so stoked to throw some reverb and stuff on her vocals because it already sounds so cool. In fact, why don't we jump into that here in a sec. I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in a de just to make sure that there aren't any piercing sounds. I use sibilance. I go sibilance stereo. And so sibilance is a fantastic de -esser. How it works is you want to mess with this threshold. So I'm going to bring this threshold down to about 32 or so, and then the range, I'm gonna crank up to about 13. And then with detection, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it at about 60, and I'm gonna go about 40 wide. And essentially, all it's gonna do is, like if you turn the detection up all the way down to the left, it's gonna listen to the the really scratchy sounds, versus if you go to the right side, it's gonna look for the SH sounds more, and then the mode knob is gonna go, when you, when you do wide, it's gonna look for a wide array of um, sounds to look for. So it, this is such a cool little tool here. I'll play it and I'll click the monitor to kind of show you what, what's being dragged out and what's, what's staying. So those, those little subtle <laughs> are being pulled out. He holds the key to eternal life. I am alone, you feel here. I am alone, you feel here. So I also use Maximus as another 
way to DS vocals. He holds the key to eternal life. I am the one you think he I'm going to go back into Ozone real quick, and I think the thing that I didn't mention that I'm going to mention now is that the compressor on the highs is almost a de in itself. You can really DS an entire, I think de an entire vocal with this by itself. So I'm going to just bring this down to about 38. That sounds good. Uh, there gets us to a certain point where the subtle change turns into a really big change. So I just want to, I, her vocals are nice. It sounds crisp, but it just sounds a little too high. So I want to, I want to bring it down, condense it a little bit more and make it sound less scratchy or less uh, intense so that it's just, you know, you're listening to it and you're, you're, you're calm with it, vibing with it. You're not like, ow, my ear. One thing I'm going to do on top of everything that I've done already is I'm going to add in a plugin by waves called clarity now clarity is this is this is one of the coolest plugins that i think i've ever seen <clears throat> it will clear up all the background noise so i noticed that in her vocals for the most part it sounds great and you, you know you'll get that background sound pretty much no matter who you work with we can get rid of that with this plugin and again remembering that the vocal chains need to go in order of course, I'm going to have my auto-tune, actually, I'm going to have my auto-tune second. My clarity goes first, okay? Clarity is going to go first because we want to clean up the vocal first. Then we're going to add all of the effects and so forth afterward. Otherwise, what you're going to end up having is you're going to have a whole bunch of EQs and things on top of the clarity, and then the clarity is going to be getting all messed up with all of the plugins that you got. So clarity first, let's listen to the difference. This is going to be crazy. Sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! I will to tell the people them set. Now, just listening to that right there alone is enough to go, oh, okay. You know, we can... We can change that up a little bit. <clears throat> let me let me add this verb in here, that verb in here, and then let me get the let me get this last delay in here. Exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto all men. Oh yeah, okay. So that background noise. Now I'll I'll get rid of that so you can hear that noise in the background. Exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach unto all men. You know, you can hear it. And like I say, it's it's just a matter of this is how it goes in the studio. Okay, so here we go. Turn it on again. Exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! I won't be able to tell the people them set. Exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! I could actually do it for Revis' vocals as well. It's like I say, clarity is brilliant. It'll take out the, those nasty frequencies in the background. So now let's hear the whole thing. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto all men. Revis! What we're going to tell the people them set. So the only thing that I haven't done with Sasha's vocals is add a limiter. As you could tell, if without a limiter, <clears throat> her vocals are going to go all over the place. Okay, so the limiter and the compressor are going to keep everything together. Uh, I need to actually play. I'm going to play the chorus to find out where I should place the limiter. I don't want to put it on something like an intro. Beautiful. Now let's play it. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! I will be able to tell the people them set. Sasha, no, 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 no hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. Is on sex. 
bring your praise to the one who make the sun raise. My eyes gaze fixed on Jesus, the son who is raised. Blood stained, word of God ingrained in on my door frame. Hero is real, Jesus is real. Prophecies from altar. So there it is. There's the chorus, Revis's verse. Everything is sounding great. Now I gotta move over here and I gotta edit uh, I gotta edit Sasha's the rest of Sasha's vocals. I'm actually gonna move these over a little bit. Because I'm gonna have to figure out the timing. Let's we'll start with the chorus here. I think I had it right the first time, but I, I just need to make sure. Jesus lets me walk on water. I'm called to restore the order. He's best across the border. That's why he's yeah. his father. Samurai, my flow is forward. Cross me on your own accord. Me and my squad be for the Lord. Praying in the spirit on one accord. To lose your soul, can you afford? Earthy gains you should ignore. So use your lyrical sword to praise our spiritual Lord. To lose your soul, can you afford? Earthy gains you should ignore. So use your lyrical sword to praise our spiritual Lord. Run to the rock and the rock I cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. So yeah, man, I mean, it is really like a cut and dry thing. Sometimes people do like a whole big thing to try and make things sound a certain way. I take the easy road, you know, sometimes, sometimes you got to take the hard road, but this song is so, so simple, so cut and dry. The reggae tones, like if you look at this waveform of this beat, it is just like, it's real solid. It's real cut and dry. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like really try to work at something to make it sound a certain way. It's just, it's, it's easy going. And the whole entire beat is easy going. So, you know, to kind of manipulate the vocals and, and make them all sound right. And I, and I'm over here trying to make sure that Revis's vocals are, are matching Sasha's and, and so far it's, everything's great. At this point, when I'm done with doing all of the editing of the vocals all the way across the board, I go into the master track, right? And I'm going to open up Maximus and I'm going to open up Ozone 9 Elements. This stupid thing always pops up. So first with Maximus, I'm going to go in here and this is kind of like my formula for everything. I go into my highs and I'm going to bring them out. I'm probably going to separate them about 45. I'm going to go into my mids and I'm going to separate them about 35. Then I'm going to go to my lows and instead of separating them out, I'm going to merge them at about 40, maybe even 35. Let's go 35. Okay. And then I'm going to go into my bands here. I'm going to play the beat. I'm going to go into my bands. And I am going to adjust some of the highs, mids, and the lows, if you will. Okay, so let's check it out right here.
Okay, so I raised the lows at about 0.5, and then I raised the highs at about 0.3, and then I lowered the mids at about 0.2. So that's going to affect the entire song. I've already cut out a lot of the, the low end with the EQs anyway, so it's all good. Now I can play the whole thing together. So if you're really paying attention and if you even rewind back, you can totally tell the difference in what's going on now versus what we had for a minute before we put the Maximus on here. Now the highs and the mids are panned out more, so everything is, is coming together real crisp. This is kind of a cheat code with Ozone Elements. I'm going to go to Master Assistant, and it's already dialed in. I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to play the beat at, at the loudest point, which is going to be at the chorus, of course. So I'm going to play the beat at the chorus. I'm going to let Ozone do its thing. It's going to listen to the entire song, and then it's going to master based on the volume and, and everything like that. I'm going to keep my intensity at medium and then we're going to do destination for streaming. Here we go. And just like that, we've got this entire track mixed and mastered. Really simple. I don't have to even touch the beat. If I wanted to, I could tweak it. You could use like Isotope Ozone to kind of mess with the beat. It's really, really good plugin for beats and vocals alike. Uh, I'm very happy with what we got here. The only thing I think I'm going to do is, is just um, attach this, attach these little pieces to the chorus. Just like that, we're all good, and that's a wrap. Hey, if you like this video, if it helps you, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay tuned for some more videos coming from me. I do have to do a lot of videos like with EQ, compression, like I was saying earlier in the beginning of this video. So thank you again for watching. God bless y'all. Keep Jesus first. Righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a reproach unto all men. Rivas! Oh, we're gonna tell the people them say. They run to the rock and the rock and cry out. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. Jesus the Son, who is raised, blood stained, word of God engraved on my door frame.